finally, election season is done, but just in time for elected officials to get to work in Helena. That's right, Montana's 2019 legislature convenes at the Capitol in less than two months. Today in Helena, the newly elected lawmakers chose their leaders. MTN chief political reporter Mike Dennison tells us what happened and what it means for the session's agenda. In the House, the top post of speaker went to Representative Greg Hertz of Polson, who's been a leader of the Republican Party's conservative wing in Montana. And in the Senate, Bozeman Republican Scott Sales, another strong conservative, was re-elected as president. Both men said a top priority for Republicans at the next legislature will be balancing the budget without a tax increase. I don't think there's an appetite for Republicans to raise taxes, so it's going to be incumbent upon us to make the budget fit uh, with existing resources. They also expect plenty of discussion on whether to extend the $550 million a year Medicaid expansion program, which ensures about 100,000 low-income Montanans. It's set to expire in June. Voters last week turned down a ballot measure to extend the program and fund the state's share of the cost with higher tobacco taxes. When asked if he supports an extension, Hertz was noncommittal. We're going to have an open mind and look at these policies and make sure we protect the most vulnerable of people of Montana. There's, there's a lot of ideas on the table. I hate to um, speculate on any of them at this point in time. Sales said he's curious to see what adjustments to the current program its supporters may propose to get it extended. There's going to be a fair amount of horse trading that goes on on that issue, but I would have to think that it's going to, it's going to uh, be one of the major, if not the major issue of the session. Minority Democrats made it clear extending Medicaid expansion is one of their top priorities. But we got to find a way to protect 100,000 people from being kicked off their health insurance. Montanans decided that 185 might not have been the way to go, but nobody decided that we should kick those folks off. Schreiner said Democrats also want to restore some budget cuts made last year to fund programs for the disabled and other low-income citizens. Democratic Governor Steve Bullock comes out with his proposed two-year budget on Thursday. Also on the table is a possible change in House rules that could limit the power of the GOP majority and make it easier to pass certain bills. The four-month legislative session convenes at the state capitol in Helena on the 7th of January.